Good evening everyone. It is Sunday and today of course is Father's Day. So let me start by saying Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And I just pray blessings over your life and your family and that you will continue to be the strength and the support for your families. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and just be working on borders, uh, not borders, sorry. Um, I am trying to make like backgrounds. I'm working on backgrounds. So I'm going to use actually photo paper. I wanted to see how um, I can, you know, I can get some nice back backgrounds using the photo paper. So um, I'm going to use three and um, I'm going to basically be using the same pattern, but having three different options, you know, as far as placing on the, um, the card itself. So um, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. And if you like this video, by all means, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And of course, I appreciate any comments that you may have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my uh, paintbrush, actually, one of my uh, painting brushes, just with a little bit of water because I um, it looks like my little spray bottle that I had, you know, gave up on me. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap some of this on here because I want to get a little coloring for that. As a matter of fact, there was something I needed to do first before I went. I want to kind of wet up that paper since I couldn't get um, my spray bottle to work. I know this is um, just water. Just trying to get everything wet ready. So I trust that um, despite everything going on, everyone had an awesome day. So let's go ahead. I have this a little wet here. Hopefully it's going to work. So I'm going to use this. This is a kind of a pattern I had before. I'm just going to go ahead and just do some of this red here. You know, no specific anything. I'm just playing around with the red. So again, this is not any, you know, specific anything. This is like just messing around with color just to see what will come up out of it and this is what we're going to be using let's see so it's a little messy but that's all right because that's um how it's going to be messy i'm now going to go ahead and do blue Now this one has this dress pink, it's called the red one, it's called actually Candid Apple. And this blue is called Mermaid Lagoon. I'm going to do, if it doesn't matter, I'm going to just go ahead and tap some on here. Just get a little more. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Today I decided to let my husband have a day off because he, he usually likes to be in the kitchen and I said today you're not in the kitchen. So I took him out to dinner, well, well, lunch, really. Took him out to lunch and then um, came back in, made sure he was comfortable. I drove him all around because he's usually the one driving me around. So I did everything that he normally does on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, um, which definitely, he definitely appreciated you know that that extra gesture and then I ended it up with a nice foot massage for him which he absolutely enjoyed so this is just something just simple I was thinking about I'm just for the first time trying it out so hopefully we will see so this is how it came out so this is just you know right now it's a little wet but that's okay while this is drying, I'm going to go ahead and use this one here. Got a little messed up already. I am going to use my cutter bun and I'm going to do another um, type there using the, again, using the um, photo paper. Just using photo paper so I'm going to use uh, 
just hide it here. Okay, there we go. I think I have it right here. This is like a uh, dots folder. I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to get us some dots on here. Now, it always sounds like that when it's a photo paper. Like, I guess it's crunching. Now here you have, if you can see the photo paper I'm trying to, so this is um, the dots and I'm going to try one more. I'm going to use the last one, I'm going to use this would be like a music, musical notes. I try to get it through, it does give me a bit of a challenge, so maybe that might not work. So let's go ahead and leave these here for now. So I have these here. Let me get this back. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab this red at different places. No specific, you know, like on the dots. So hopefully the dots will get just the... This one does. So I'm just gonna just do this. Just get it all together. And again, this is photo paper I'm doing this with. I like photo paper because of the um the glossy shine it has on it it's not your typical card making stuff but every time I got you know like a camera in the past or something I would have all those photo papers and now we save our for photos on um, digital media so we don't necessarily need to have you know a whole bunch of photo paper lined on everywhere so let's see okay so this is dried up So this is dried up. I'm going to use the same folder, dots folder, so that I can do this one. So as you can see how it is here, that's awesome. I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to go ahead and get this. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this, um, this one here. My cutter up. And then I'm going to do... and a quarter let me see i'll do like two and a half i'll cut this at two and a half so i have that then i'm going to go ahead and take this i'm going to cut it at two and a quarter i'm going to go ahead and uh, get this stuck on here We will see what we do with the other piece. So we're going to do th basically three cards. So I'm going to get this stuck on first. It doesn't matter how it goes on as long as it goes on in a way that you can get all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to trim off a little bit of the excess on this card here so you see this is the first one so i'm going to put this aside this one i'm going to do across so i'm going to also at this one let's see this one I'm going to cut smaller let me just see if this fits across okay awesome so all 
all right so i'm going to do the first card here this one is flipping up i'm going to get this step right here okay so i'm just going to go ahead and put the glue here and um as far as paper i mean you could have a you know papers that the pattern paper or you know that you have had sitting around that maybe it has a white background or something you, you know you just flip it over and use the white part so you can at least um, get to use the paper so I'm going to do this right here I'm going to mark this here just make sure it's sitting properly okay so we're going to keep this one here for now and let's go ahead and do the other one I think I'll do this one so I'm going to do this is going to go across I'm making sure that I'm doing this correctly. Let's see. Okay. So let's set this aside here for a minute. Now we have all those little like these little pieces, you know. So I'm I'm going to just use. Okay, let this stick here. Let me see. Is this one dried up? Yes, it is sort of dried up. We're going to do this one here too. Let me go ahead and cut this piece out. Let's see which side is dry. I think I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure that I do this piece. I think I brought it this way. Okay, so I will get this one matted on too. Again, in keeping with um, Independence Day. So make sure every way is glued up nicely. And let's go ahead and get the place on the car. Now, with the liquid blue, you could kind of maneuver and make sure your 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 uh, base is sitting properly so we're gonna have this so we have this one just very simple nothing fancy and we have this so now that this is stuck on i'm just gonna go ahead and trim the edges so i'm just gonna open this up going to kind of angle it off so that it is I think like this and then I have a happy 4th of July stamp here that I'm going to use as well because we want it to fit I like those um this recollection stamp uh, stamping tool because you know regardless of what happens you still have the option to um you know what let me let me do this here 
let me try using this instead this uh distress ink i'm trying it for the first time in this manner so let's see how this works out it will give some kind of color see. Oh, didn't do too badly let me just move this out of the way it looks like it's uh, got in the way I'm just going to do a little more color and then I will use the green get me some green to get the bottom We'll leave with that one and let me get the green so i can do the bottom this is just a little it's um hampton arts stamps so i'm just gonna get the little green in there just as it is so this is just a simple cut happy 4th of July it doesn't have to be anything uh, fancy so that's one this is the oopsie okay this is the other one let's see what we'll do for this one just simple we're not looking for anything fancy it's just simple cards now this one is going to be a little different because since i have this on the pattern um here i will have to use um a different strategy on that one so let me go ahead and get some more backing paper So I did put the stuff aside guys however there was an issue with my recording so I am actually showing you the end results because I wanted to make sure you saw those so first of all I have the um, the first 4th of July one this is the last one I was supposed to have done but um, I got messed up with the recording so I want to make sure that you guys see it so this is the last one and these are the two that I had done um, previously so um again i do hope you like this video and i do apologize for the break in the video so um let me know what you think and i wish all of you a wonderful week stay safe enjoy the rest of your evening bye bye